This is another one of my not quite HVAC test thingies. People send me stuff and I test it. Uh, this is an air pump. Got this cute little thing here, wraps around there. You're supposed to be able to just hook this on and preset the pressure and it'll pump it up to whatever you need. Uh, has this little doohickey here. Goes in the cigarette lighter. I thought I, well, I'll go over this. Yeah, it's got a nifty carrying case. Actually, that's not half bad. But I want, to, I want you to look at this one. I bought this pump 47 years ago, and it still works. I have pumped innumerable tires with this thing. It has gone and gone and gone. The little cover over the piston thingy's long gone, but it's still working. This hose is the original hose that was on it 47 years ago. Now the cord, uh, the cigarette lighter thing disappeared many moons ago, and I had a real long wire on it because I was running for long distances. Uh, but that's not on it now. If this thing would last anything like this, then... Uh, got to be the greatest pump in the world anyway I've had this around forever it still sits in my truck and when I need to air something up I can do it with that okay but I do have a car too this will probably go in the car if it works okay uh, sort of inflatey things you know inflate your basketball and stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna try this thing out right quick I will say one thing that may be a bit negative this thing is not very long it's three meters it's about 10 feet i'll see if it's long enough i'm not sure it's gonna be i got a pickup truck out there that's 24 feet long and i'm not sure it's gonna work for that let's go ahead and give it a shot and we'll see how this thing works okay i've deliberately left it dark here it's really not dark outside but it's dark inside this building okay now the silly thing does have a light on it which is kind of nice uh, to kind of show you where you're at. I know you can't see a lot here, but then we're imitating the middle of the night when somebody's trying to fix their tire. Okay. This doohickey goes right there. And you turn on the switch. Okay, it's, uh, you can't see the numbers on it. I'll show you it on another tire with the numbers, but uh, it's doing its job. We'll see if it shuts off. Okay, it's shut off. Looks like it's working fine. Now I'm gonna show you on another tire where there's a little more light. And you can see the uh, the readout. Okay, here we're set up where you can actually see a little bit better. And it is supposed to lay down like that. And we'll get closer. Okay, I've got the vehicle started for this one. So you can see how long it would take to go from 23 to 32 pounds. Okay. It is done. Yeah, I'll call it good at that. Okay, conclusions. Is this thing any good? Yeah, it goes up to the pressure you want. I think that's kind of neat. And shuts off. Most of them do that anymore. Uh, the cord's too short. It works for a car, but it won't work for my 24-foot long truck. It's about four or five foot short. I mean, it's really a lot short. Uh, I like the light buried in there somewhere. Uh, that really is kind of a neat idea to have on it. It has a deal for wrapping the cord, and you'll see it's not wrapped in so good because there's no way to get it wrapped in. There's more cord than there is place to wrap it up in there. Maybe that's why it was so short in the first place. Uh, anyway, that's kind of useless. So probably just it'll probably just undo inside the bag, but at least inside the bag. Uh, it uh, wasn't the fastest thing at airing up, but those are awful big truck tires I was using. I tried it on a car 
which had plenty of length for, and uh, they were high performance, super low profile tires, and they aired them up really fast. So, uh, nice little toy to have in the trunk, just in case. That's it on that one.